हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई जय प्रकाश वेलकम यू ऑल टू द फर्स्ट डे ऑफ द ऑनलाइन क्लास ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स सब्जेक्ट एंड द फर्स्ट चैप्टर इज द फिश टेल दिस चैप्टर विल बी कंप्लीटेड इन सम पार्ट्स लाइक पार्ट वन पार्ट टू पार्ट थ्री एंड सो ऑन नाउ कम टू द नेम ऑफ दिस चैप्टर द नेम ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इज द फिश टेल as you all know that fish is a water animal it's live in yes it lives in water okay can you tell me some name of uh, some fishes yes some fishes are whale shark starfish rohu and many others now come to the second word tail t a l e what is this yes you are right it is story okay yes i know that many students have told that the uh, tail means are uh, animals and part okay like pooch in hindi we say pooch yes no that's spelling is different that is t a i l both these two are homophones t a l e and t a i l okay let's have a picture for it here we have a picture of cheetah okay and this end part is tail and the spelling is t a i l clear my students yes this end part is tail t a i l okay now come to the lesson before starting the lesson let's have a overview of this of today's class today we will know about haiku first okay then second is uh, about a uh, whale shark these two things we will clear this is our topic what is haiku and second is whale shark now here you can see some beautiful pictures drawn by navyata class 1 here you can see the name of the girl and another picture is is made by maya class 4 very beautiful pictures here we here we can see and uh, now dear students let's start the class so here is a three line poem as we can see here let's sing it so get ready to sing with me deep under the sea see the lovely colored fish swimming peacefully okay yes now here are some words which i should clear first is sea and sea these two are homophones this sea is everyone know that just looking something okay but this sea is a water body okay yes water body like whale lake pond ocean and many others and here is another word peacefully peacefully means very relaxed okay tension free relaxed and very happy that is we say peacefully now deep under the sea see the lovely colored fish okay we are looking under the sea but what things we are looking many colored fishes okay and what are they doing they are just swimming peacefully clear okay so this three line poem is completed now come to next this special poem in three line is a haiku yes our first topic is clear here that what is haiku so we can say three lines poem is a haiku clear and is this a indian word no it is not like a indian word it is a foreign word but which country yes it's belong to japan here is a word sentence we can say such poems about nature are popular in japan okay so in japan if any poet says or write some poems based on nature so that all poems are known as haiku remember that my dear students that what is haiku haiku is a japanese word and three line 
poem based on nature is called haiku okay now haiku is clear now another three line poem we have the lake calm smooth still a fish jumps up and returns ripples shake the lake wow here is a condition of the lake that the lake it is another water body okay like whale and uh, what sea and so on and the lake is very calm smooth and very still still means very stable okay and calm means yes very silent nice so the lake is means lake's water is very silent very smooth okay and very stable but suddenly what happens a fish jumps up and returns ripples shake the lake at that times what happen a ship jumps up and then returns its own place then what will happen yes ripples shake the lake okay means some waves will be formed in the lake clear okay now next do you know do you know any poems about fish yes in classes 1 2 we have studied we have seen uh, many poems based on fishes in hindi there is a very popular poem machli jal ki rani hai jeevan uska pani hai haath lagao dar jayegi bahar nikalo mar jayegi yes and some english poems is there a, i know that one 1 2 3 4 one sai caught a fish alive 5 6 7 8 then i let it yeah something is there the poem you all will clear it okay now here are some drawings made by children okay that we have already seen this drawings made by maya and navyata now when you think fishes what shapes come your mind okay i mean here the question is asking that uh, what is the uh, shape of the fishes yes generally its outer is in oval shape okay <laughs> now try a square oh here is a task that's nice try to use a square and a triangle to draw a fish yes we can make can you make my dear students yes first we will make a square what is a square as you all know a square is a yes its all four sides are equal nice and a square is made now time to make a triangle so triangle here we should make yes here down side we will make a triangle and now yeah it is looking like a fish but uh, its eye here let's draw its size so finally i made my fish okay let's try another one oh it's not okay yes you my dear children you can draw this fishes very well i know so just try at your home now hi ko is clear now come to next page okay look for fish designs around you on clothes in paintings on mats and tracks yes i want to show you some pictures where you see some patterns some designs of fishes here is a frog and here is the picture of the fish okay let's take another one oh can you see the picture of fishes where yes these are the fishes very nice now come to the chapter okay mean remember this word mean means a fish actually it is a hindi word okay mean we write this 
me mean okay mean means fish yes in hindi we say machli and another words are matsya like it is written like this matsya okay so mean means a fish and minakshi is a girl whose eyes looks like a fish okay can you think of someone who has such eyes in your classes in your neighborhood you can see your friend's eyes that is uh, like a fish eye or not now draw a face with fish eyes try to do at your home next fishes can have very different sizes yes some fishes are small some fishes are very big so the smallest fish is about 1 cm long only 1 cm very teeny we should say very small a teeny fish is there how long is the biggest fish you can imagine can you imagine what will the uh, length of the biggest fish that you imagine that you can imagine here is given the smallest one is 1 cm so biggest one just try to okay uh, let's take uh what 80 cm okay according to our, our imagination i can also imagine like 50 cm or more than 100 cm also now here is a question how many times longer is your big fish than the smallest fish okay how many times longer what is big fish from the smallest fish clear okay here the length of the smallest fish was 1 cm and we imagine the length of the biggest fish was 80 cm so how many times it will be yes 80 times okay now here is something about whale shark it was our second topic we should we complete today so the biggest fish is the whale shark remember it whale shark the biggest fish in the world it is actually not a whale but is a big big fish very big 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 fish whales are different from fish remember this all points okay whale is a big very big fish and very different from the fish how how is it uh, different from the fishes let's know whale breath like we do oh means generally fish have what gills to take breath in the water but this fish means this whale has no gills it means it has its nose and through noses it takes breaths okay now through their noses the whale breaths but fish have no noses and they take in water as we discussed before some time that fishes have gills okay to take breath but uh, whale has no gills they have noses like us now something is there whales give birth to babies but fish lay eggs yes as we all know fish lay eggs okay but whale is different from fishes it gives birth to babies the whale shark fish looks big and dangerous but is quite harmless it doesn't attack humans yes okay we should not fear from whale because it doesn't attack on us okay so relax now one whale shark was as long as 18 meter here uh one second here we studied that the smallest fish the length of the smallest fish was 1 cm 1 cm only and here the length of the biggest whale shark is given 18 meter means the smallest is 1 cm only and the biggest is 18 meter okay and 18 meter means how many centimeter come on guess yes 
hundred centimeter. So now, my dear friends, you will tell me, okay, that how many times the how many times longer the biggest whale from the smallest fish? Yes, eighteen hundred times. <laughs> okay, very interesting. Now, just think how long that is almost. Twelve children of your size standing one on top of the other, and guess what it weight. Okay, it is a just activity in the you can do in your home and in the class also. Well, much more, much more than what twelve of you together weigh. Its weight was about sixteen thousand kilogram. Okay, here we studied that. its length is 18 meter and its weight is 16000 kg very interesting fact remember this and now here is a here are some questions about how many kilograms do you weigh yes in the class there was an activity svsb swasth bachche swasth bharat and we all measured your weight your height okay and that was commonly something some of students wear 20 kg some of 30 some of 40 kg and others so you know your weight how much weight you are and so 12 children like you put together will weigh about how many kg okay now first reply the first question About how many kilograms do you weigh? Suppose that you are only thirty kilogram. Means your weight is thirty kilogram. So twelve children like you put together will weigh about how much? Yes, your weight is thirty kilogram. Okay, and how many childrens like you? Twelve children like you will be put together in the way. So total weight will be. What will we do here? Addition, subtraction, or multiplying? Yes, you are right. Here is a multiplication. Okay, the weight of you are is thirty kilogram. So weight of twelve means thirty into twelve. It will be twelve zero zero zero, and twelve three zero three sixty. Three sixty kilogram. Is that clear? Okay. Now come to the last question. About how much more does the whale shark weigh than twelve children like you put together? Okay, my dear students, you will do yourself it. Now let's have a summary of today's class. That what we have studied. Okay, as you all know, in overview we have discussed about uh, Heiko and uh, whale shark. Okay, so let's summarize this. So what is Heiko? Yes, try to answer. What is Haiku? Yes, three lines poem based on nature is called Haiku. Okay, Haiku in Japan. And whale shark. Can you tell me something about whale shark? Yes, whale shark is different from the fish. It's a very big, big fish. Okay, it give birth to babies. Yes, and it does not attack on humans. It has noses to take breath in the water, and its length is eighteen meter and weight is sixteen thousand kilogram. Yes. Okay. So we have summarized today's class, and now it's time to. is now it's time to stop the class now and uh, at last i want to say my dear students stay at home stay safe be healthy see you soon and till then bye bye thank you